everyone, we are here at Torbert McDonald Park in Medford. It is February. We are going to enjoy a nice ice picnic from Penny Packers in Somerville. But most importantly, we are back at the mighty, majestic Mystic River. It's, is it all frozen over? Can't tell. But come join us for some sandwiches and for this lovely frozen picnic. See you then. Our first dish from Penny Packers. So of all the sandwiches we got, we also got some uh, side dishes here as well. The side dish that we have are their smashed fried potatoes, gorgonzola cheese, and jalapeno peppers. Um, let's go ahead and give this a go. Mm. That's good. But well, first of all, you first get the gorgonzola cheese. If you like blue cheese, if you like gorgonzola cheese, you're gonna love this because the taste of that is great. The jalapenos, it makes a creamy, spicy, nice bite. The potatoes are nice and crispy. All in all, I like this. I really like the texture on the potatoes. They're really, mm. really crisp, not too greasy, really nice. Mm -hmm. I think I like the crispiness the best. Yeah, those are really good. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Here we go. Mmm. The brown, crispy bits of the skin with a thin little layer of the potato. That's... That's fantastic. <laughs> Love it. Yep. Ooh. Leafy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's all baby bites. <laughs> nice and savory. Mmm. Has a little bit more flavor than just a regular chicken soup. That's really, really, nice. really nice and hearty. And this weather, this is just perfect here. Mm. There's a nice smokiness to yeah. it also. The chicken is really nicely cooked. I don't know, maybe the chicken is smoked or I don't know. It reminds me of something. Yeah. It's, it's really maybe good. like a southwestern kind of a little bit. Like maybe yeah. It's like that spice profile, like, like a southwestern soup. And it's just, it's homey. It's it's comforting. Mm. And it's just that thing that you want to curl up with with a nice blanket when it's chilly out. I mean, it's a good thing. Mm. Mm. It's like a grilled cheese with beets. Mmm. Not a beet lover. I would not order this again. But maybe if you like beets, this is your thing. It does have a nice, the bread's great. There's like some cheese or slaw or something on here. Can't tell, that's nice. It's better than I thought it was. It's actually not bad. I was expecting it to be a lot more earthy tasting because beets you usually taste like, you know, dirt, but this is actually not bad at all. I wouldn't mind eating this. And great bread. This bread's great. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad at all. It's like uh, beets, some cheese, and what I think is Russian dressing. So it's supposed to be like a Reuben sandwich, but vegetarian. Mmm. You know what? Pretty good. I like it. Yeah. Mostly you're getting fattiness from the cheese, butter. The beets kind of disappear after a while. You do get the hint of the smoke though. And that brings a little meatier sensation to it. But I'll eat it again. It's nice. excited to eat this. The lamb is almost like has like a lacquer on it sort of. I think that's like the pomegranate, like, like a glaze. Like mmm, it's really good. You know what? I don't know. It's fried. I don't know what it is. But <laughs> that lamb is so delicious. It's tender. Salty creamish to it. 
the dill bites right through that. This is a great clam sandwich. I would definitely have this again. Look, they have like, they just know how to like grill it. And it's just, the texture is just so lovely. And all this like seeds and stuff on it. I mean, I tasted the lamb a lot, but everything is just red for me. It's delicious. Wow, this is really loaded full of chunks of lamb yeah. here. Mm. It's got this sweet sauce that it's been cooked in. And then it's got this very smooth and unctuous feel in your mouth. Mm. I like that. I like the fresh lamb. herbs. The fresh herbs really make it taste that, that Mediterranean style flavor. Bread again. Yeah, you're right. The bread is fantastic. That was fried cauliflower, I think. Yeah, delicious. Awesome. The fried chicken sandwich on a jalapeno cheddar biscuit. Biscuit, everybody. <laughs> uh, best chicken biscuit, in my opinion, is oh, breakfast at Chick-fil-A. But. <laughs> Hardee's actually does a pretty good biscuit too. Hard, yeah. <laughs> I, like red I like Red Lobster Red biscuits. Lobster, Those Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Delicious. Nice breaded cutlet. Looks like dark meat, thigh meat, and uh, some crispy slaw. Let's give it a taste. Mm. chicken is good. Nice and crispy on the outside. Still warm too, even though we picked this up an hour ago and it's 20 How degrees outside. How is the outside. biscuit? It's not as flaky as I was expecting. It's kind of cakey. Cakey, okay. And it's very dense. Mm. The chicken is the highlight here. I would say that I'm a little bit underwhelmed by the biscuit. The mix of the kind of pickled vegetables with it is nice. Really like the dark meat, very juicy. You know, maybe a little bit of spice would have been nice too, but I think it's pleasant. Maybe a little bit too sweet with the pickled vegetables, but really nice. Yeah, nothing special in this sandwich for me, really. What are we eating? <laughs> this is a porchetta sandwich. This is a porchetta sandwich. With, look at all that porchetta. This is what they're known for. Oh no, the ice. Chill. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes really, really like, really piggy. Porky. It needs um, like something. Acid. Of, yeah. Acid. Some acid. Some um, greens in there to cut through that. Like some broccoli wrap would have been really, really delicious on this sandwich here. It's good, it's nice, it's tender. It is juicy. It has that melt in your mouth consistency. It's it's rich. It's delicious, it's rich. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to get this overloaded thing into the bun so I can take a bite. I mean one thing, this is definitely worth your money. <laughs> okay. First of all, porchetta, what is it? It it's is a, pork. it's a pork belly that's been wrapped around a pork shoulder until it's a cylinder of meat with fat on the outside. And they roast it until the belly skin gets crisp on the outside and the meat is really tender and juicy on the inside. So this is all chopped up bits of pork belly, pork shoulder, including the rind. Is it crispy? There's a piece of the, the skin right there. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah, I like it. It was nice and crisp. Yeah. Mm. What well, tastes? I like this. Okay. Still good. No. I bet a dog pissed there. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> this is much delay. Here we go. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
um, the pork. It's very porky. You do get this. Um, is that normal pork? That's what pork yeah. tastes like. This is this is like roast pork flavor. It's like barnyard. Yes, yes, it does have kind of a funkiness to it, and that's what pork tastes like. Very often, you'll you treat your pork in different cultures differently. You know, either by marinating it, brining it, mask some of that pork funk. But this, you taste the meatiness of the pork. Yeah. Um, and I think that's by intent. That's the design of the way they prepared it. There's nothing else in there. It's just like pork and a little sweet sauce. I was I was expecting a little bit something for texture or something but it's wow a lot of meat in one sandwich hey, what else could you add on it was twelve dollars oh wow it's so, well worth it this is a fantastic delicious sandwich if you are a pork lover like we are on this channel yeah. or at least me i'm a pork lover oink, oink. get this and uh maybe when it's warm and not minus what's the minus 10 celsius today uh it might taste a little bit better but yeah i like this i like it a lot <laughs> i will get it again yum, yum. <laughs> Filming. It's not a. <laughs> All right. 